Hey, Chuck, what's going on, man? How are you? What's up, brother Matt? Uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday, man. We've got a big charity show, a tension head reunion show at the vault coming up this Saturday. We've been waiting for this show for a, uh, a few months now since you guys announced it. And we're going to talk a little bit about the show and everything happening on Saturday. But I want to start quick by going back to 2016. You guys decide after however many years tension head was a band, you guys decide collectively to sort of call it a day. Why, why did you feel like 2016 was the time to say, you know what? We don't want to do this anymore. Well, I don't think it was a, a thing about we don't want to do it anymore. It was just time. It You know, we uh, were together 14 years, and I think it was just, we just felt it was just time to just finally say that, you know, it was just time. You know, we had played it, and uh, it just felt like it was time to just, call it a day you know we we had so much fun over the 14 years and you know speaking of 14 years to this year it's it's we're, we're now called the classic i guess somebody <laughs> uh 20 years now um so because we started in t- uh, 2003 so this is this is now 20 years tension head has uh now been around i guess i mean even though we've been uh missing in action for the last six seven years it's uh now uh 20 years a uh, uh, band. So um, it feels good to, to, to just come back. We've been practicing now for four months for this show. Um, so we just can't wait to get out there and uh, tear some faces off. So you guys play that last show. Everybody goes their separate ways. Do you stay in touch with Tony and Sean after the final show in hopes of at some point just deciding, you know what, let's do another show. Let's do one more. Honestly, we all kind of went our separate ways. I mean, I, I kind of stayed in touch with Tony a little bit. Uh, Sean and I, we didn't really, I mean, I, we didn't really talk for a long time. It wasn't just because we, you know, we weren't friends or anything, obviously we just, you know, look, we, we were so tight for so long that, you know, and everybody's got their own families and stuff. We just finally said, that's enough, you know, let's, let's go and live our lives, you know? Um, but uh, basically, that was that was it we just kind of went our separate ways and uh that you know with with jojo it was just something we hadn't we hadn't uh been with jojo for so long so that's also a new thing here is having jojo back in the band i mean we haven't played with jojo in over 10 years so this is a big deal having having the original lineup back together um it feels great man we're we're super excited you know how often after you played that last show in 2016, did people come up to you? Did people ask you? And I know every once in a while you post something on social media to get people talking again. But how often say, you know, when you're out in Saginaw or you're at another show, how often did people ask you, are you really done? When are you guys getting back together? Uh, actually, it was Tony that would tell me because he was the one that was out and about. I became a homebody. Um, you know, I. I I'm the kind of guy that likes to, you know, stay home. I love watching movies. Uh, I'm I'm really not the kind of guy that likes to go out much. <laughs> um, I'm kind of a nerd, to be actually honest. <laughs> um, but, you know, once in a while, I like to throw down. You know, two, three times a year, I like to throw down and just binge, you know, and just, you know, just get it all out of my system. Um, and this is what this is all about, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's what I used to do. That's what, what, that's what tension head was all about. Um, you get up on stage and you, and for 45 minutes to an hour, I just get up there and just, you know, get everything all out of my system all at once. And hopefully that's what comes across and, and for everybody else, you know, get all that stress out, you know, we all work hard. And that's the time to to get all that tension out. You know what I'm saying? Um, As far as, you know, people asking to get back together, sure. People asked me once in a while and I would just kind of, you know, just brush it off. I just, honestly, I I never really wanted to do it again. The idea of it was, you know, the only reason why it came up is because I wanted to do something for kids. I always wanted to do something to really give back and, and truly this is 
the main reason why I'm doing this. It's it, yes, of course I wanted to come back and, and do something for the fans um, and for my guys, for us to go come back and, and, and do one big, you know, hurrah and, uh, and, and feel that energy and excitement again. Um, and there will be, trust me, this is going to be a, a 15 song banger and, and we're going to really, really do it up. But the thing is, is that um, I always just really wanted to do something for kids. So that's why I decided let's let's do this. I, I remember the day that I, I like six months ago, I texted all the guys and within five minutes, everybody um, replied back. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it was pretty it was pretty funny. I mean, it, it, there was no delay. It was let's do this, you know. So, um, it, it was pretty cool. And so that's what, I, I mean, I've been planning this show for six months and I'm totally stressed out. So I'm, <laughs> ready to go, you know, um, two more days and we are going to unleash the beast for sure. So yeah. you mentioned the show, you mentioned the charity aspect of it, and we'll talk about, you know, make a wish and all that coming up here in just a minute. But uh, this show it's a it's a free show and, and reunion shows when any band does a reunion show, especially, you know, the big bands do reunion shows. Everybody goes nuts. But even at the local level, people, there are going to be hundreds of people at this show. You guys could have put a price on a ticket, a $10, or $20 ticket and sold a bunch of them. This show coming up on Saturday at the vault four bands is absolutely free. And you're, you're doing that just, I mean, yes, you're taking donations at the door, but wh why do the free show when you guys could have sold tickets? Well, I think most people that know me personally, <clears throat> I've never done this for money. I, 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 and I'm not somebody that cares about money. I could live in a cardboard box. People know this about me. I don't care about money. Never have. If I cared about money, I would have taken some of these deals over the years that came across my path of uh, wear what we tell you to wear, sing what we're telling you to sing. Uh these kind of deals. That's not the way that I, I was ready to roll to, to sell my soul to rock and roll. Uh, that's not just, that's not me. I wanted to play the music that I wanted to play and that's it. And, and if I didn't, you know, if I didn't become a big rock star doing that, so be it. Um, I'm as real as they come and, and that, and, and I'm proud of that. So with that being said, um, I just, I just wanted to, you know, just stick to my roots and, and, you know, why, why let's, let's do a free show, man. Why, why I don't need money. I, why do we need to charge for something like this? Um, and I think people are going to appreciate that. And, and you're not expected to donate, come out free. I mean, if you ain't got no money, come out and enjoy yourself. I mean, this is, this is for the working man, the working woman, this is for you. This is this is for you to come out and enjoy yourself. We got four awesome bands on this bill, um, and three of them are are your local, you know, town heroes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, we got people from all over the region that are coming up for this. I, I promise you. I got all the emails and messages to prove it. This is going to be a huge show. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And in lieu of selling tickets, you mentioned it a few times that you're doing this for kids. You're doing this to raise money. You've chosen your charity. It's a make a wish. And so far, even before the show happens, before you take all those donations at the door, you already raised over $4,000, which has to make you feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, it, it's it's really cool, man. People have come out of the woodwork for this. Um, you know, it, it just... It's awesome. We we've had we've had one one donor that came out really big. We've had people that come out and and give whatever they can. I mean, yeah, online it's it's we've only we've already made it already halfway of what my expectations were, my hopeful expectations were, you know, uh, which were ten thousand dollars. I mean, I, I you know I had to set some sort of limit with with uh, make a wish and we're already halfway of what, what I was hoping to get. So you never know. I mean, we could, we could even surpass that at the door the night of. So uh, it doesn't matter whatever we can get. Um, we know it's going to go towards a good cause. We know it's going to go to uh, uh, getting uh, some, some dreams created for the kids. You know, one of the things that I always wanted to do um, 
if I became a big rock star, which obviously didn't happen, but and made millions and all this other stuff. Um, we know that didn't happen, but I always thought it would have been really cool to uh, be able to bring like Chuck E. Cheese to like uh, to like a children's hospital, bring Chuck E. Cheese to St. St. Luke's or something like that, or St. Jude's or something like that. And, and bring Chuck E. Cheese to them. I, I always, that was always like a dream of mine to do something like that. Um, but this is the closest thing that I can do. So we'll, we'll leave it in the hands of make a wish. They're the professionals. Uh, I can't wait to write a check and hand it over and let them, let them do their thing. Let's talk about the show on Saturday at the vault. We mentioned four bands. It's tension head headlining. Of course, there are three other bands of the bill. Two of those bands are bands. You shared the stage with shared the stage with at your last show back in 2016, silver spork and the miscreants. Why was it important when you guys put this all together? Why did you want both those bands back on this show? Well, you know, first and foremost, they're local boys. And these are guys that basically I grew up with, uh, playing with around this area. And, you know, I moved up here when I was 18 years old and these are guys that basically helped me, um, you know, introduce to everybody else around the music scene. So, you know, from, uh, from Pat and the miscreants and, and, and Carl and Brian from the silver sport, you know, I, I don't forget where I come from. Uh, and I appreciate everybody. So, um, it was imperative to make sure that they were on this show. Um, and, uh, you know, we know that the local scene is still strong here. We've got a lot of great talent. We've always had great talent in Saginaw. Everybody knows that it's, it's just for some reason we're stuck in the middle of the state and a lot of the surrounding areas, um, for some reason, uh, usually get the attention from, you know, the national spotlight, and Saginaw just for some reason always gets uh, forgotten. But um, we know that there's going to be a lot of uh, people coming from the surrounding areas to come to this show because we've got a lot of friends from Detroit to Grand Rapids um, that are going to come out and support this show. So it'll be nice to have them come and see these guys. And, uh, of course, we got the Lonely Ones, which they're a great national band. Um, we're old friends with them, um, obviously, those are members from uh, Boba Flex, and uh, we played with them for many, many years as well. Great live band. I mean, I think people are going to be really, really surprised. I mean, they they really bring it. So, We are expecting a packed house at the vault coming up on Saturday, and a great opportunity for people to go check out the vault if they haven't had the chance to do so yet. What is your what's your hope for the show? What do you want people to say when they're leaving the vault Saturday night after seeing Tension Head for the first time in five-plus years? Well, I, what I really would like them to take away from not only seeing tension head from, from, you know, for being so long is that, um, I want them to remember us as we were. Okay. Obviously we're not as young as we used to be, but we're still going to bring it. I promise you that, um, we're not, you know, I may not have the same voice, but I'm going to surprise you. I promise. And, uh, the guys, they, they still sound the same, obviously. Um, but I want everybody to leave the show with the same memory as they used to have of tension head. And I believe they will. Um, this, this is just another memory added on to it. Um, we're going to get them hearts pumping. There's no doubt about it. I got a 15 song set list that uh, that I created. I made sure that we put on all the good live stuff. Like, uh, I mean, look, I mean, I can pump us up as much as I want as far as all of our tunes, but there are certain songs that go over better live. And I made sure that I put on the 15 songs that I felt were the best live tension head songs. And uh, this is the longest set set list that we've ever put together. I mean, uh, so it's going to be a nice long evening, uh, not only with tension head, but uh, with four great bands. So, so say things go well on Saturday. We expect them to, you guys are talking about this being a one-time only thing. If all goes well, all goes perfect. 
Is there a chance there could be another tension head performance in the future, or will this be it? Well, um, it's a possibility. I mean, it, it could be. Um, with that said, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. With material-wise, I don't, I don't see that happening, um, you know, because that was another question that was brought up here recently. I don't see us putting out any new material. I, you know, that's, that's, I'm going to go ahead and kill that right now. Um, that's just not going to happen. Now, as far as the new show after this, it's a possibility. You never know. It depends on the demand. I mean, um, we're having so much fun at these practices. Uh, you know, <laughs> we just practiced for four months, you know what I mean? And, um, we're solid, you know, we're as solid as you're going to get without playing live shows. And if, if you're a band member and you're watching this, you know that you can only get so solid and tight um, playing at practice without playing live shows. And we haven't played together for almost seven years. Um, so, and without Joe and without Jojo almost, uh, well, over 10 years. So um, it's, it's still going to be great. We're, we're excited and we can't wait. It's two more days. And, uh, all this hard work is is finally going to pay off. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, over the years, I had the chance to hang out with you guys and spend a ton of nights watching you guys play shows. And I was I was not in town. I had moved away when you guys played your last gig at the pub. So it has been it's been ten years, if not more, that I've seen since I've seen you guys take the stage anywhere. And uh, we spent uh, many a nights uh, having a good time out uh, in places all over the state. So. As, as excited as you guys are about this show, I know myself and everybody else who's been waiting for Tension Head to go back on stage is excited as well. Uh, looking forward to making new memories. There are memories, Chuck, that you and I have that I don't remember that you will remind me of or that I will remind you of. Um, I'm looking forward to this Saturday, man, just to, to get the whole gang back together because it has been so long that I, I've seen a lot of those people. And I know it's been a long time for you as well to see a lot of those people. So to get everybody back together, man, to bring all of Saginaw together for this show coming up on Saturday, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Those memories uh, <laughs> I share <laughs> with uh, yeah. people in person. I won't share them here. They're fun. <laughs> Great memories. Uh, Matt, you've been a uh, you've been uh, a, a a very close friend for a long time, and and I just want to thank you for all the uh, support that you do for all the local bands in the area. Uh, on behalf of those local bands, you do you do a great job. I seriously, uh, you know, look, I, I'm not in the scene anymore uh, as far as, you know, the last seven years, but I, I pay attention and, and, and on behalf of all those bands, I want to thank you. You do a great job and, uh, we all, we all appreciate it, man. So, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you Saturday and we'll see everybody Saturday. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's at the Vault. A free show coming up this Saturday. The Vault is on Florence Street in Saginaw. They've got all the info. If you're looking for info, uh, Chuck's updating the Facebook page constantly with stuff. So just go find TensionNet on Facebook, like the page. All the info is there, and then we will all hopefully be out at uh, the Vault on Saturday, Chuck. All right, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right.